a car decelerated from 45 meters per second to 25 meters per second in 10 seconds, that's the time, maintained the same velocity for 6 seconds, then came to rest in 12 seconds. Draw a speed time graph. How can you draw this one? So what you need to do, the first thing that uh, you need to do, the first thing that you have to do, where you put something like this, like this, you do this. This is the first thing that you have to do. So the question was saying, a car decelerated from, so from where? 45. So we are going to put our 45 there. So from 45, it was decelerating, so it was moving like this. To what? To 25. So I'm going to put 25 there. This is where my 25 is. You know that here we've got what? Here we've got velocity. So you need to indicate there that here you are having velocity. You indicate properly that here you've got velocity like this. You put velocity, which is in what? Meters per second. You do that. Then this other side, you've got time. You do this time just like that. So this is the question that we are having. So it moved from 45 to 25 here in what? 10 seconds. So moving from there to there, what was the time? The time was 10. So you put your 10 there. So here, this is supposed to be dotted like this. So you put your 10 there. Here it is zero like that. Maintain the same velocity. Maintain the same velocity of what? It is now at 25. So it maintain the same velocity. Maintain the same velocity for 6 seconds. For how many seconds? 6 seconds. Here you add. What is 10 plus 6? It is 16. So there you've got 16. Like that. So up to there. You put these dotted lines like this. From there... Then came to rest in 12 seconds. It came to rest like this in 12 seconds. So you add 16 plus 12. This is what you are going to do. You get 28. So you put your 28 there. This is how we've drawn that. So this is how you need to draw a speed time graph. These are the steps that you need to do. These are the steps that you need to get and understand. Have you seen the way I've drawn this? This is the exact way that you also need to draw. The same way I've written this, this is the same way you need to do it. So what if we are given the first question? The first question, we are given the question, calculate, this is the question, calculate the total distance covered calculate the total distance covered they want you to calculate the total distance covered how can you calculate that so your main interest should be on the graph interest should be the graph this graph that we've drawn so with this graph you know that the first one here the first one have you seen this this is a what? This is a trapezium. This is a trapezium here. So use the formula of a trapezium where you say distance is equal to half A plus B H. You do that. So this is what you are going to do. So the two sides which are parallel, we've got this side here and this side. These two sides are parallel. So this is your A. This is your B. Then this one here is your H from here to there. It is in this angle. I told you that a trapezium can be in all the sides. It, they can put it in this side. They can put it in another side. That's what you need to do. Here you say distance is now equal to half. And what is your A from here to there? That is 25. 
plus b what is your b from here to there it is what 45 you put your 45 there you do that what is your h here 10 have you seen 10 from here to there it is 10 so you say distance is now equal to half of when you add there so when you add what answer you get in 25 plus 45 what is your answer 70 so you've got your 70 there then your 10 there what answer are you getting here this is half half times 70 so half is 0 0.5 0 0.5 times 70 times 10 what answer are you getting you are getting 350 meters so this is 350 meters this one is for which one the first one so we've calculated the distance there it's 350 meters we've calculated that one have you seen the way i've done all the calculations this is how you need to do it these are procedures you need to follow i move to this one this remaining one i don't know if you are able to see what i'm seeing this remaining one it is also a what a trapezium have you seen this remaining one it is also a trapezium we've got this side it is your a this side it is your b then this side is your what your h so we will not use this same a i had to put the a because i was solving for this one i moved to this one this now become h it is now a trapezium have you seen if you want, you can use the formula of, okay, let me not use a trapezium. Let me just say, here this is a rectangle. Have you seen? This is a rectangle here, and this is a triangle here. Let me use this formula. But if you want, you can use a trapezium. It is just one and the same thing. Let me use, that is a rectangle. So, a rectangle, we just say A O times B, like that. Is, don't say this looks like a square. No. From here to there it is 6. But from here to there it is 25. So the distance is too big. So you can't say it is a square. With your eyes it is seeming to be a, a square. But this is a rectangle because we are using two different scales. From here to there it is 6. From there to there is 25. So if we were to put this in the in in reality you discover that it is going to be very big you are going to see that it is a rectangle so this is equal to what is your l length from here to there six have you seen 10 to 16 it is six times what is your b from here to there 25 so you put your 25 there then finally what is your answer you say 6 times 25 what is your answer your answer is 150 so we say 150 meters so i can put my 150 meters there that's where my 150 meters is so i found for this one i found for that one i can also find for this one that is a what that is a what what is that one so how can i answer that one how can i go about that one this is a what a triangle how do we calculate the triangle so i'm going to rub here i'm going to rub everything here so that i create more space i know that triangle is half b h this is what i need to do so i said distance is equal to half times what is my base my base this is my base the difference between 16 and the 28 say 28 minus 16 what is your answer 12 so the difference that is here you say 28 minus 16 that is what 12 times height this one to that one that is your height from here to there what what's there 25 so i put my 25 here to there answer get it there 25 so i find now the final answer which is equal to so you multiply everything here. This is physics. A calculator is allowed. So don't even panic. Just punch. 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. So just say 0 0.5 times 12 times 25. What is the answer? The answer is 150. 
So the answer that you get is 150. So I say 150 meters. So even here I've got what? 150 meters like that. I've got 150 meters. So this is how I need to do it. So if you use a trapezium, like you just take it as a trapezium, the whole thing here, you still get the same answer. These don't fight with each other. Do you still get the same answer? Have you seen this? The calculations I've done, the same calculations I've done, this is how you need to answer it. So you now conclude and say, the question now was telling you to find the total distance. So you just say now that the total distance, the total distance, the total distance, just say total distance is equal to, total distance is equal to what? 350 meters plus 150 meters plus what? 150 meters. This is what you are going to do. 150, 150, you add. So you say 150 plus 150 plus 350. What answer are you getting? 650. So the answer that you are getting is 650 meters. This is your what? This is your total distance. This is how you calculate the total distance. So these are very simple and I believe you can answer this. You can go and uh, practice exam questions under this. So this is your total distance. If you were taught to find the average speed for the whole journey. So say if you were taught to find the average speed. So let's say you were taught to find the average speed. How can you answer it? Average speed is equal to total distance. Total distance. So I'm going to put these letters. I'll say total distance over total time taken. Which is equal to. This is total distance. What is the total distance? 650 meters. Over. What is the total time? Total time is what? 28. So 28. Which is equal to. It is equal to what? Where I say 650 divided by 28. What is your answer? Your answer that you get. So the answer that you are going to get will be this one. This is the answer that you are going to get. The answer will be 23.2. 23.2 meters per second. Like that. Meters per what? Per second. Just like that. So this is your answer. This is how you get to answer that one. So this is how we get to answer total distance, average speed, and how to sketch. These are things you need to do. These are steps that you need to follow.